So I'll be presenting about Immanuel Kant's The Hypothetical and Categorical Imperative. Immanuel Kant's well-known categorical imperative is like a specification of the golden rule, which is one of the most important ethical rules. Or as Kant put it negatively is, what you don't want someone to do to you, don't do to anyone else. The golden rule can be interpreted in two different ways. The first as a strategic rule of judgment that expressed an economic point of view, and the second as an ethical rule that stands for a moral point of view in its purest form. The first of the two ways deals with the hypothetical imperative, and the second deals with the categorical imperative. Kant then assumes that everybody is a citizen of two worlds. The hypothetical imperative represents the world of wise advice, whereby it can be assumed that all people strive for their own personal well-beings and happiness. For example, if individuals have a specific goal, such as living a healthy lifestyle by doing this and this, then it is rational and a command of practical reason to behave in a certain way, such as by continually educating themselves of health, observing a healthy diet, doing regularly sporting activities. This is what they're striving for. They are basically commands that you should follow if you want something. It's about prudence rather than morality, such as if you didn't want to live a healthy lifestyle, then you could always choose not to live one. It becomes totally optional. It could be a bad option, but still optional. It should now be noted that most individuals not only pursue their own interests, but also have moral interests and the, hence the willingness to put themselves into the shoes of others as well. As soon as the person no longer has their own interests in mind, but also has interests of others, they have adopted the moral point of view according to Kant, which he calls the categorical imperative. The categorical imperatives are a command you must follow regardless of your desires. Moral obligations are derived from pure reason. Kant said, it doesn't matter where you want to be moral or not. The moral law is binding in all of us. This means that we should always act in such a manner that we were, what we are doing could become generally or universally acceptable and approvable law. Otherwise, if the actions were not universalizable, then it would fail the moral test of categorical imperative. Such examples are speeding on a highway, crossing a traffic light during the red phase, cheating exams. These are all things we will not accept as a universal law. So why is this ethically relevant in the business context? Well, these two imperatives are important because they allow us to evaluate moral actions and make moral judgments. Two of the world's three richest men, Microsoft founder Bill Gates and Berkshire Hathaway CEO Warren Buffett, are famous for their integrity. Warren Buffett has been estimated to have donated more than $34 billion to charity. Meanwhile, Bill Gates committed to giving away more than $45 billion. These ethical moral principles both of these people have done following the categorical imperative has allow the business to continue growing and improving relationships with employees and customers. If business owners were, not to, were to not think morally, then the directors or any body of power within the business would act on their own self-interest rather than also thinking and benefiting others. Categorical imperatives push individuals to think and look at the whole picture and consider the consequences. If every individual within a business only follows a hypothetical imperative, then the business as a whole will not pass the moral test of the categorical imperative. So every company has its own code of conduct that applies to the employees and to the business itself. Categorical imperative or a universal moral code of the company is embedded into the code of conduct. A company business ethics can shape the way it is seen around the world from their partners, customers, employees. It can be a crucial key to its success. How? Well, for example, it, it can attract high caliber employees. Business who take care of their employees at every level within the company and treat them to the highest ethical standards are attractive to job seekers. A categorical imperative or universalizable example in a business context would be a business selling bananas to customers and customers are paying for it. Or a not universalizable rule would be the customer is hungry and then instead of paying, steals the bananas from the business and the business steals it back and it keeps on going. 
It leads to contradictions and can't work. Specifically said that moral actions cannot bring about contradiction. Therefore, it is not universalizable.